Okay guys, so I'm going to be making some chili. Super dreary in New York today, so I figured chili would be a great, easy dinner. Sorry about the noise in the background. Dishwashers running, you know, always something. So I always got an excuse. Anyways, we're gonna run through what you are going to need for Texas chili. My son loves these meatballs, by the way. These I get at Target every single, um, anything by this kid fresh is super good. But yeah, I just wanted to share that. If you're having problems with the toddler eating, he loves these because he can just hold them in his hand and run for it <laughs> and still be getting some protein. Before I start cooking my chili, let me turn on. Okay, so before I, well, I'm gonna add this to my pot pan right now. <laughs> pot pan. And it's over here. It has just a little bit of water in it and it's on low. I was just kind of heating it. This is turkey meat. Um, I didn't know I told you guys in a recent video that I'm trying to just eat as good as I can. Wash your hands, guys. Um, I'm, I'm trying to eat as good as I can on top of not wanting to eat a whole lot of meat here lately. Meat, M-E-A-T. So I went ahead and met my family in the middle and got turkey meat instead of red meat or whatever, um, ground beef. You got a poopy in there? Do you have a poopy? I need you to communicate. All right, so while I tur cook my turkey meat, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my pepper. One onion, one whole tomato. We are going to be using just a little bit of canned corn, chili beans, or you can sub that out for kidney beans, black beans, pinto beans, any kind of beans. I just think that the mixed one is so convenient that they're all in there one can of diced tomatoes and green chilies i love this one some taco seasoning seasoned salt onion powder minced garlic garlic powder salt and pepper of course paprika and red chili flakes and we always have the chili powder from McCormick on back, on the back burner, just in case we need some extra flavoring. Oh, pepper, green pepper. Uh, you can do any kind of color of pepper you want. It doesn't matter. Or you can just throw them right out. You don't have to do chili this way. This is just the easiest way I know. told you guys this but um I did go to a, a few semesters of culinary school in um, college community college and I really enjoyed it although I never finished it I got to the end of the degree and then <laughs> I had to take food prep class. I'll never forget it. I'll, I even remember the time frame that the class was held and it was like 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Food prep one in the old building is what we called it. And the I could not go to class because I had such bad anxiety at the time that was untreated. Um, but besides that, the chefs at this college were terrifying. And I'm like, how am I supposed to complete this course if I can't get over my fear of how mean the chefs are? I'm like, why are the chefs so crazy, right? 
And then come to find out, it is it wasn't the chefs at that school, it's just chefs in general. <laughs> chefs in general are a little uh, a little crazy. I would know because I'm one of them, you know. And looking back now, it's like, I understand why those chefs were the way that they were. Um, I didn't understand it then because I wasn't, I wasn't ready to understand. But I am at the point now where I've lived and learned enough to where I do understand why those chefs were so serious and why they were so stern about protocol and everything it's because if you're dealing with somebody's food you need to take very special care that you're treating it properly because you can make someone really 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 sick really fast so if you're not following those proper protocols I don't know So it's like, I guess there is a nice way and a mean way of saying it, but I think the chefs just really wanted us to be prepared for the mo the seriousness that comes with food preparation for the public and people and, you know, yourself to keep yourself safe and healthy and prepare the yummiest, most properly composed food possible. My daughter was watching one of my videos with me um, the other day, kid-friendly videos, and um, of me cooking, and I said, you know, back in the day, we didn't have YouTube, but we went on what's called the Food Network, where people <laughs> cooked for you on the TV. And they go, and now watch. I mean, look, you're watching mommy now on the TV cooking. Just the same as when I was younger. Although they were much better at it than I am, clearly. That completes the mise en place, pretty much. It's just the easy basics of chili. Peppers, onions, and tomatoes for you. Um, and then goes in the beans, the meat, and all the seasoning. So now we're just kind of waiting on this ground turkey over here, and then we'll get going. Just a dash of chili pepper, pepper and salt to this. I'm gonna lid this and leave it on medium to low heat. That way it can cook. And I also put that moisture in the bottom of the pan because we do not want our turkey meat dry. I'm gonna drain, I'm gonna rinse these and drain them. I feel like if you were to just dump the beans from the can into your chili, it would make it too thick. This is just kind of like a fluff, <laughs> fluff element. I like to add just a dash of corn in it. I think chili is so good with other random veggies. Like, I used to put a lot of zucchini in my chili. There. I'm thinking of putting some carrots in there. I don't know. I'm like really, really hesitant. really reluctant to try that but I don't know why either because I think it would taste so 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 good with chili carrots and a chili hmm I'm gonna go for it 
So I got these from Wegmans and they are rainbow carrots. They looked really yummy. I've gotten them quite a few times before and they're super delicious. I think I'm gonna quarter them or slice them down angularly um, and throw them into the chili. I don't know, we're gonna go for it. These look so good. Oh, my son is pissed off about something. I'm gonna go nobly find out what's wrong. I'm gonna save, you know what? I'm going to do more small petite carrots in this and save the big ones for my stew. I'm making a beef stew later this week. And you see how I'm using my brain? I'm using my mind. Instead of just being a typical stoner and just being like, ah, whatever, just go with the flow. I gotta be strategic. I gotta somewhat stay on track because I'm a mom, man. I'm reserving these carrots for my stew too, so. Because we would never eat a whole bag of these in one dinner. There we go, that's beautiful. These cook down way too fast in like say a pot roast or something. All right, cool. All right, that's all we're gonna need for our chili. So I'm gonna put these here, we'll just add those in. And then also I'll be making, of course, classically, chili should always accompany cornbread. You put the cornbread in the bottom of the bowl, you pile the chili on top, and then you layer it with cheese. And if you really want to go at the extra mile, put some avocado on top with a little, little bit of sour cream. But you can't go anywhere without the cornbread, okay? Chili just doesn't make sense without cornbread. So let's whip this up. this pan okay because this will stick if you don't grease your pan with cornbread cornbread doesn't have any natural oils in it you know what I'm saying like all I added to this was egg and milk so if it fluffs up and it doesn't have any oil to prevent it from sticking it will stick really should have made two boxes, but that's okay. Okay, so that is our cornbread. I'm going to go ahead and stick it in the oven. I hope that this is preheated enough. And we'll do 20. We'll do 20 minutes and hope it doesn't burn. <laughs> free to add pretty much everything that I have here into my pan. So tomatoes, a dash of corn. I forgot to add this in earlier. I'm going to do a little bit of hot sauce, just a little bit for some heat. Some chili mix. of our vegetables from earlier. what meditation does for me. I didn't spill anything. Okay, so season salt. Just a dash of each. Additional 
onion. I love minced onion. It just adds a great flavor. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Paprika. Crushed red pepper. Just a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. Salt. Just dash. Beans. 